All right. Um, this is basically a guide for a friend of mine that wanted to help me with um, uh, messing around with the textures on a bunch of different armors. But um, I know that I had a problem with having the real shiny armor glitch and a couple problems with the GIMP, the um, the editing program I use. Um, so I'll just show you guys how you can correct it and uh, make your lives a little bit easier. Um, here's an example. Um, this is the really shiny armor. Comes out really, 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 really bright, no matter what color you make it. And uh, I mean, some people might like it, but it's kind of not something I want to run around with, you know, all the time. This is another shot of it. Um, here's another version of it. Once you uh, manage to get rid of, um, once you manage to save the file correctly, you need to save it in a DDS uh, format instead of a BMP. Um, you need to get the extension or whatever program you're using. You just need to save it in that file. So um, just keep that in mind. This is another version of it because in GIMP, um, the program tends to morph the picture in such a way it makes it extremely hard to edit. makes everything transparent and you're not exactly sure where you're drawing. And also, whenever you draw whatever you do, um, it comes out extremely shiny just in those areas. So this is a screenshot of that. This is another example, some red lines, purple on his chest. and put a little bit of blood on the blade. Um, this is a third example of me trying to put Spongebob as the cape. Um, came out extremely shiny as you can see so it's not something I was pleased with. This is a correct way to do it. If you can see I kind of changed up the shield a little bit, not too many edits, kind of changed the uh, the the contrast in it and uh, made made it look a little bit more high quality. Um, the blood on it is tiny bit changed on the sword, and as for his armor, I changed up a couple of things you can't really tell at this angle. Um, this is my dervish. I tried to make him look like the Grim Reaper, but kind of failed. But hey, I managed to get black armor without spending you know a crap load of money. Um, this is my pepper monk monk. And, uh, yeah, I just covered him in peppers and <laughs> basically tried to make him look as stupid as possible. And this is the uh, the front edit of my warrior. Um, as you can see, I changed his eyes. I, I changed up his helmet a little bit. If you look to the side of his helmet, um, it has a different edit there, and his gloves are white or gray. Um, also, I will be covering skills, how you work with those skills are actually really easy to edit it's just you need to make sure you edit every specific piece to what you want there's actually a lot more textures in a skill than you would think um, here's another example decide to change up the colors a little bit um, and also that's his scythe uh, that's originally blue it's an ice scythe and um, decide to make it look red since it match and look better than the original um, so that's basically it, and we're going to get started. Uh, first things first, you want to go to your textures, whatever program you're using. Um, we're going to start with the armor. Um, I use GIMP. It's free. Um, pretty easy to work with, and uh, I'm not sure if I can help you with all the other programs, but um, if you want to do this, you could just download GIMP for free and uh, work with it like this a lot easier um, basically it comes up really transparent and it's extremely hard to see and like I said before when you draw the uh, the lines that come up are extremely shiny so black comes up to be kind of like a dark brown that attracts any bit of light um, so it's kind of aggravating and I know I had a problem with this I didn't know how to fix this because you know I don't spend most of my life studying about Photoshop and GIMP um, basically what you do is you go to layer, then mask, then add layer mask. Make sure you choose, uh, transfer layers alpha channel. It's the one you want. Um, once you add that, you go back to layer and mask, and then show layer mask. This should make it black and white. 
um, we're pretty much halfway there, being the fact that we just need to bring the colors back out. So what you want to do is select all, and uh, you copy it. Then you go to new. You don't need to change anything. Just hit OK. It should be the exact same size. I use Control V so that pastes it, or you can do, you know, edit paste. But I'm too lazy to do that. You put this window to the side, which really you don't need it. But um, I keep it up there just in case, you know, you decide to copy something else in the uh, process of editing. Um, you go back to the original one, and then you go to layer, then mask, then delete layer mask. This should bring the colors up. From here, you can edit it any way you like, and it will come out pretty clear, like, um, you know, basically like if it was intended to be on the armor like that. It's not too shiny of that so uh, that's really helpful and when you're done you want to go back to layer do mask add layer mask doesn't matter which one you choose I tend to leave it on the same one and you add it you go back again then show layer mask this will make the screen completely white now normally by now I would have hit control V but like I said you want to always uh, make sure you do it correctly so make sure you have this selected and then you copy this and you paste it back here once you do that you go to layer and then you anchor the layer or you can hit control H then you go to layer once again mask and then apply layer mask not delete layer mask but apply layer mask and there you go should be back to the uh, the format it was before and as you can see it changed a little bit by uh, the corner over by the mask or the helmet and then you just go to file save as and make sure you change the extension to DDS um, I already have a file saved so I won't actually save it uh, once you save it you can just uh, quit out of everything and then make sure while you're in your uh, the file that it saves in there should be a uh, notepad with all the textures and where they link to make sure that all the extensions are changed to DDS otherwise it won't recognize it so you want to make sure you always fix that for each and every new one you add um, once you do that you can just go to text mod package build make sure you have it uh, go straight towards the text mod um, once you open that up you do build save it to whatever you want you know and uh, there you have it then you go to uh, package build make sure it's on guild wars and it should be the first one that comes up then you can load it up and all your modifications will be there um, also to edit the skills it's basically the same exact thing for some of the skills, but a lot of the skills come up normally, so you can edit those wh whichever way you want. But a way I like to change the colors real quickly, and this is really easy, is you go to colors, colorize, and you just play around with the hue and saturation and lightness. And, um, basically get whatever color you want. So that's basically what I do. You just save it, DDS file, and just leave it at that. And that's basically all you need to do in order to um, edit the armors and such. I mean, you got all these tools. Um, I don't know all the tools left and right. A couple of my favorites are, of course, the uh, paintbrush, the stamp, and the dodge and smudge tool. I really like the smudge because um, that helps to give it kind of a higher quality look if you know how to use it. Um, and the zoom tool <laughs> works wonders. But uh, that's basically it. So um, I hope this helped you guys out. Hope this helped out my friend. Um, um, oh, yeah, I uh, almost forgot. Um, in order to fix the shininess problem, uh, I actually completely forgot to go over that because, um, you know, I just went over to editing the armor. But the, uh, the shines in game tend to look like uh, these three right here. Um, I think this is my armor, this is my shield, and this is the scythe or something crazy like that. 
uh, the way you know the difference between when you have the textures highlighted is that um, whatever item that has the shine in it will faintly highlight green but if you highlight the items textures itself the whole entire thing will turn green to the point where you can't see the textures anymore so um, make sure you get both because you really want to save the uh, the um, shine textures as DDS files that's that's the top priority otherwise um, if you save them in another format it's gonna um, it's gonna clash and then you're just gonna have that really bright armor that I showed you before um, I'm not sure if that's the type of uh, armor you want to run around in but um, yeah just glad that I finally got that covered too I almost forgot um, but I hope this helped you guys out and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in game